My name is Samuel Bryles, CAM number 6131, and today I'll be giving a presentation on how the overuse of technology is negatively influencing the minds and actions of the youth. So, what is the problem with the overuse of technology? Kids nowadays are being raised around by technology, so naturally, they become more accustomed to this technology. The problem is, they're becoming too attached to this technology. This overattachment can come with many negative effects, such as becoming addicted to technology, becoming less socially aware, and being exposed to wrongful contact. So, what is my perspective on the problem? Me and my group decided to examine this problem from different perspectives, and today, I'll be examining it from the social perspective. In addition, I'll be exploring the effects of local and global of overuse of technology. Kids all around Florida are facing the effects of overuse, and it's affecting their social health. But it is not only happening in Florida. Kids all around the world are experiencing the effects of overuse. A few examples are China and Japan. This problem is incredibly important since it affects our youth, which is our future. So, if they are being affected by technology, it can have a surplus of different negative effects on our future, which can become, for example, becoming less social, developing deep addictions, and having many negative effects on their social health. There is no denying that technology has become an essential part of everyday lives. Technology has enabled us to have, to have many benefits such as making our lives easier and simpler. Using technology makes projects and schoolwork much easier. In addition, many jobs have become more accessible and easier to execute through technology and its amazing advancements. In addition to making jobs and school less complicated, it has made communication simpler. Using social media, it can allow you to communicate with people all around the world. In addition, many use social media to express themselves. Sadly, this is not always the case. As I was, as since I will go through this presentation, I will explain how using the technology and social media will lead to many negative effects on these people. Firstly, addiction can be one of the effects of overuse of technology. It is reported that about 70% of people have a social media addiction, according to Nancy DeAngelis, who is an expert in psychiatry. As we can see in this image, this kid is having to be forcibly pulled away from his laptop, and this kid looks as if he feels hypnotized by the technology. This shows that many kids have been developing social media addictions. We must be extremely careful with our youth since it is experienced by the Rolling Hills Hospital that children are at the highest risk of falling into addiction. This addiction can lead to, many, to kids feeling a false sense of security and safety, which can have many negative effects. Nextly, kids are becoming less socially aware, which is greatly impacting them. Social media technology, such as text messaging, have impacted the social skills of many kids. This is a huge problem since they spend so much time communicating with others. Without these, skill, without these skills, kids will suffer. As we can see from this image, kids would rather be on their phones than communicating with one another. This can have many effects. For example, in a normal face-to-face -face conversation, we talk about ourselves about 30% of the time. But on social media, we talk about ourselves about 80% of the time. This can have a very negative effect on our communications. In addition, in a study done in 1998, it was rooted after extended use of the internet to show decreased social interactions with the people around them. This shows that an overuse of technology can lead to an empty feeling of loneliness and sadness. Another example of the problems that arise from overuse of being exposed to a decent content. Due to being online, many kids are exposed to content that they're not supposed to see. As we all know, kids' minds are quite impressive. Being exposed to wrongful explicit content can have many sur a surplus of negative effects on the mind. For example, seeing things that you aren't supposed to, such as pornography, can lead to future addictions and trauma. In addiction, in addition, there are many different content that can have a negative effect on kids, such as violent content. Violent content can make kids more violent. Another example of a negative effect of being exposed to indecent content is being exposed to the wrong ideals. This is shown in a recent age with many controversial influencers such as Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is an influencer that has been spreading misogyny and sexist ideals to young boys. This picture shows of a protest that happened in Greece after Tate was arrested. This goes to show just how much media that people see online can influence them. So now that I explained the many issues of overusing technology, I would now like to explore the many effects. First, I'll explore how overuse of technology has affected the people of Florida. Overusing technology has had many effects on the people here in Florida. There have been countless examples of how many kids in Florida have committed self-harm or suicide due to social media comments or technology in general. For example, there were two teenage girls that pushed up here to suicide, which ended them getting charged and murdered. This is the picture that, of the girl that killed herself. And her peers because comments such as drink bleach, this isn't the only example of someone committing suicide due to social media. There are about 3,000 plus deaths in, due to suicide here in Florida, many of them being caused by social media. 
Next, I'll explore all the effects of overuse that happen all around the world due to the overuse of technology. Overuse affects people all around the globe, such as in America, Japan, Russia, and China, being a few of the examples. This picture shows that Asian countries are becoming people in Asian countries are becoming more fixated on their in, on their electronics than the people around them, which is stated before can have many negative effects. According to the Child Mind Institute, an overuse of technology can have many negative effects on people all around the world. As stated before, suicide has a big impact on technology and social media. It has increased the suicide rate all over America. In addition, Japan is facing a huge dilemma with their youth. Many of them aren't going inside and having kids. This decline in, child in birth rate quickly began to um, increase an immense problem for Japan, and many blame social media and technology for this problem. China has also been facing these problems against overuse, making many hospitals and rehabilitation centers to comment against the effects of overuse. Me and my group came together to try to solve and mitigate this problem. We came up with two main solutions, and we decided that you should try to limit the amount of time they spend on their phone. In addition, we should try to look for ulterior ways to spend uh, to use technology. Next, I would like to talk about the solutions I came up with by myself to try to solve this problem. I decided we should inform these kids of the dangers of overuse in social media. In addition, I would like to take a borrow of the idea of, of China and create hospitals and rehabilitation centers that can combat against the social media overuse. All in all, technology and social media have many benefits such as making life easier and communicating more effective. But overusing it could come with many negative side effects. We should try to protect our youth at all costs of the dangers of using technology. And here are my sources, and here are my picture sources. Thank you.